Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do a block of filming for some snack boxes that have arrived. And the timing of it is perfect because I need to do some writing for my grad school um, classes this afternoon. So piling up some snacks to carry me through that chore is going to be definitely needed. So I'm going to go ahead and do some unboxings of some snack boxes that have arrived for March. And we're actually going to start with the Love With Food box. And one of the things that I do appreciate with the Love With Food boxes is that they do come shrink-wrapped, which is nice because sometimes these boxes get delivered during the day when I'm at work, and so they've been sitting outside by the time I get home and can rescue them. So having them shrink-wrapped is definitely appreciated to keep the elements out of the box. If you haven't seen Love With Food before, it is a snack box that is kind of geared towards more healthy snacks, snacks that are made with all natural ingredients or that are gluten free or vegan inspired. Not all of them fit into all of those buckets, but that's kind of the, the direction that they go with. And the other thing that I really like about this particular box is that they pay it forward meaning that a portion of the subscriptions, the pricing of that goes towards paying for meals for shelters. So that's always really appreciated if you like to have kind of socially conscious boxes, if you like to participate in that kind of um, a relationship, this is a good box to consider doing that with. This is the smallest box that they offer, which is the tasting size. They do have other variations, so depending on your snacking needs and whether or not you're getting this as an individual or for your family, you might want to explore the different options. So I'll go ahead and include a link down below. Definitely check it out. But for now, let's take a look at what's inside the March box theme for this month is Happy Go Lucky, which is appropriate for a March box. And the blurb on this says 2017 is already off to a delicious start, but we're sure March is going to be a very lucky month for all of our super snackers. We want to encourage all of you to worry a little less, smile a little more, and just see where this lucky month takes you. The Happy Go Lucky box has all the snacks you need along the way, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Of course, I'm. we're now entering the last week in March. It's taken me a little bit to catch up to the boxes. So, But, you know, hey, I'll take some luck this last week. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So the first thing that we have is an organic granola bar, 18 Rabbits Junior Mango Strawberry. I'm not going to try this one. This is, seems like it's a perfect item for me to take with me to work as a lunchbox snack or maybe breakfast. So we'll save that one. Uh, the next thing that we have are some organic emoji shaped cookies in chocolate. Kind of a thin packaging. So I'm thinking that they're going to be like little thin um, wafer cookies. It says that they are organic and have no artificial ingredients or high fructose corn syrup. So that's appreciated. Let's go ahead and try this one. They kind of smell like half of a sandwich cookie. So the actual cookie portion of a sandwich cookie. So here's what one of the cookies looks like. It looks like it's a laugh out loud kind of cookie. And let's see, do we get some other ones? Okay, here's the cool sunglasses one. This, this guy looks like he's like, ah, oh, whatever. So I think we're going to eat that one. That's the way I feel about doing homework later. Ah, whatever. So that's about what I expected. It's kind of like the Oreo cookie without the cream. It's just the, the, the cookie part of it. A little dry, but that's to be expected. And it's pretty nice. I do like the fact that it's not super, super sweet. Um, and maybe that has to do with the non high high fructose corn syrup that might be part of the reason why it's not cloyingly sweet and i actually kind of like that almost has a little bit more of like a graham consistency um next we have some espresso candy and it looks like it's a hard candy so we'll pass on trying that one right now we have some almond toffee i think 
we'll hold off on that one too. Some of these small things I like to put into my lunchbox, so I don't want to open them up. Looks like we get another espresso candy. Ooh, we got some hot cocoa, it looks like. Traditional chocolate drink from Monbana. All right, so here's a few things that we can open up and try. So we've got something called Chewy Fruities Organic Candy Chews, and they come in pomegranate and nectarine, lemon and raspberry, and blood orange and honey. So let's check that out, because that sounds tasty. They are no, no artificial flavors, gluten-free, and no GMOs, also dairy-free. So for someone who's got allergies, that would be a nice treat. Are they individually wrapped? I think they are individually wrapped, so that's even better. So they almost look a little bit like a cross between a noun later and a starburst, about that size. And it looks like we're gonna try the blood orange. Definitely kind of has a starburst looking appearance. I thought it was gonna be a little hard, but nope. Those are really good. Lots of flavor. I couldn't speak while I was chewing it because it was creating a lot of saliva. Very, very tart in that orange flavor. And what I liked about it quite a bit, as compared to the Starburst, is that it actually didn't have that kind of artificial back note that can make candy like that a little bit unpleasant at the very end. It was just really sweet, really tart, and a nice soft chew. So I would absolutely get those again, and I'm going to have to take a look and see what they have available online to order that, because just trying the one, I'm already a fan. So definitely like that. Looks like we've got a big magazine which is interesting yep. gives you some information about different types of foods and a promotion code so that's nice all right so the last two items in my snack box are some organic chickpea puffs called hippies which is really cute i like that and these are vegan white cheddar flavored so that's interesting feels like it's a pretty solid pack Unlike a lot of chip bags that have mostly air in them, this actually feels like they're full. It also feels pretty weighty too, so I'm kind of used to puffs being light and airy, and this feels like it's kind of solid, so that's what they look like. So they're not quite as light as I was expecting. I thought they were going to be a little bit more like a cheddar puff, and they're not. They're a little bit more solid than that. They have an odd scent to them. It's a little unpleasant. They're very dense. It's not an unpleasant flavor or texture, but it's not what I was expecting, and so it's throwing me off. I was expecting it to be a lot lighter in consistency than it is, and so while I'm not unhappy with it, I, I like it but it's not what I was expecting out of that product. And so if I went to this product with the ex expectation that I'd had, I would have been a little bit disappointed because it doesn't quite meet that kind of light, airy snack crunch. How, now knowing what it is like though, I could see myself actually getting this again and snacking on it. It just wouldn't necessarily satisfy that airy puff snack craving, I guess, if that makes any sense. So I like it. It wasn't what I was expecting and that's not a bad thing. It's just, I don't know that it would meet the satisfaction for that particular snack. So jury's still out on that. I might have to revisit that one. Okay. So the last thing that we have in here is some sea salt popcorn. And I'm interested in checking this out because it is a whole grain and it is air popped. And one of the problems that I have a lot of times with um, packaged popcorn like this is that a lot of times the popcorn ends up coming across as chewy, which is kind of an alien experience for me with 
popcorn. I don't expect it to be chewy. So let's see if this one is like freshly popped popcorn. Mm. Unlike the chickpea puffs, this is exactly what I was expecting. It's it's all right. It's all right. It definitely tastes like popcorn that is has been sitting out. It's not like a freshly popped kind of thing. It's a little bit like um, going to the movies and getting some popcorn from something that's been sitting there for a little while without the the flavoring. It's pretty much what it tastes like. So I'll finish it, but I'm not impressed by it and I wouldn't buy that one again. So that one's kind of a mess. That's it for the um, tasting box for March. And definitely the winners for me, obviously there are some things that I didn't try, so there may be some winners in there. But the winners for me were the um, the fruit chews. I really, really, really like those. Those I would definitely deliberately seek out to buy again. The other things that I did try were okay. Um, I'd be inclined to perhaps buy the hippies again. Now that I know what to expect with these, I, I might go ahead and get these again. The emoji cookies were kind of cute in concept. If I had kids, I think that would be fun. I wouldn't necessarily seek those out again. And then, of course, the other things I haven't tried yet, so we'll have to check those out. And if I can remember to, um, I will certainly report back on any updates regarding those. So if you do get the Love With Food box, especially if you get one of the other sizes I know Chris is out there hopefully um, still and he has been getting a different size of the box so he gets some of the same items that I do but some different ones too so I'd really be interested in finding out if the some of the snacks were the same this time around and what you liked and what you didn't so definitely let me know and until next time we will um, keep snacking so we'll see you next time bye